Okay, welcome to another I-21 demonstration video. Today we're going to enter a basis contract. Now as you see, I've got contracts here listed as one of my favorites. But if you don't have it in your favorites yet, you can just go down the menu to Contract Management and select Contracts. So now you can see that my menu of all my existing contracts will open up. We can drag and sort and move things around as, you know, as often as you like. What we're going to do today, though, is we're going to enter a new basis contract. So for stars, let's just make it a purchase. And my entity, I could search by using the browse function. Or I could just start typing as well. So in this case, like you can see, it's brought up my ADM entities. Now my same thing with my commodity. There we go. Let's select corn, and let's just do a little 500 bushel contract for demonstration purposes. There we go. Now in this case, the pricing types can be basis. Now why that's important is that in the future, as this contract gets priced, it'll always keep this reference on the header that this started life as a basis contract. Now I'm going to go and insert some sequences. In this case, I'm going to do one sequence, but in I-21, in some of our other videos, you'll see that sequences can be entered. Let's just do 25 cents under. Anyway, back to what I was saying, sequences can be entered for multiple different time periods. Essentially, it allows multiple deliveries under a contract header. In this case, we're just going to do one. So we're going to save off that basis contract. Here we go. We'll save it at the header level. And we can see it's contract 3404. And then you can see right there that it just moved from being uh, you know, kind of dark to kind of grayed out. So right now I can no longer adjust this basis contract. It'll always remain a basis contract, even once priced. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.